What if I told you that Earth wasn't always the pale blue dot we love quoting Carl Sagan about? Nope, around 2.5 billion years ago, Earth may have looked more like this. And the reason why? Tiny ocean creatures with a serious glow-up story. Let's rewind to the Archaean era, over 2.5 billion years ago. The oceans full of dissolved iron, the sky mostly oxygen-free, life just getting started. Then, bam, cyanobacteria enter the chat. These microscopic legends were the first to crack the code on oxygen photosynthesis, meaning they could take sunlight and water and release oxygen. And that oxygen? It changed the entire planet. Quite literally. You would think these little guys were soaking up that golden sunshine, right? No. The light underwater back then wasn't blue like it is today. It was mostly green. That's because the oxygen that they were releasing started reacting with the iron in the oceans, forming iron hydroxide. Teeny particles that turn the seas into giant green light filters. So now, the underwater world is bathed in green. And what do you do if you're a microbe trying to survive in this green glow? You adapt. Cyanobacteria evolved a new trick, a pigment called psychoerythrobilin. Psychoerythro... It's part of a huge light harvesting system called phycobilosome, basically their version of a solar panel, but this one tuned to green light. Scientists ran experiments with genetically modified cyanobacteria and proved it. Cells that had PEB could grow better under green light than those without it. It's like nature ran a billion year long survival experiment and PEB came out on top. This wasn't just about survival though, it was about domination. Cyanobacteria with this green light tech started pumping out more oxygen, leading to the great oxidation event. That's the moment Earth's atmosphere started filling with O2, setting the stage for complex life, including us. So thanks, green light. But here's the wild part. The green underwater world might have been one of the first clear signs of life on Earth. And maybe, just maybe, if we spot a green-hued ocean on an exoplanet one day, we'll know something's living there too. The color of life may not have always been blue. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, follow, and I'll see you in the next one.